All right, what's up, guys? I'm back, and yes, I got Maya here because I'm getting my bomb back. Um, so yeah, I just got her beside me because she is my forever baby. Like, Rain is my forever baby, and Sophia is my forever baby because I got that kit from Kate, and then she's also from Kate. I uh, want her and her um, her giveaway like like two months ago. So she is definitely my forever baby. She's going nowhere. And she's just too cute. And she is my first AA baby girl. So yeah, she's definitely not going anywhere. And she was Kate's first AA, AA baby she ever made for me. And I gotta say, she did a fantastic Fantastic job. Oh, I was leaving this on her. What I'm doing? I'm just going to take her hands out of this. But, yep, yeah, she's going to leave this little onesie on her. I'm just going to take her little hands out of here. So her hands can be a little free. And then we're going to put the sleeper on over this. Because it has been chilly. It has been chilly and rainy. That's all it has been here for the last couple of days. I know it was 60-something degrees yesterday, but it rained. Um, it um, rained all day. Off and on, it rained. But this sleeper came with her and her boxing. It's zero to three months, so it's going to swallow her. But I think she got right. Because what she got on now, this sleeper is a newborn. Um, I got some newborn sleepers. I just don't feel like going back in my closet <laughs> to go get them. And I want her to wear this because this came from her Auntie Kate. So she's definitely, definitely going to be wearing this. But yeah, um, I realize that I have so much. So much um, baby girl clothes. A lot. When I first actually got into the re into Reborns, I didn't... Like, I knew about them when I was younger. I knew about them. I always wanted one, but my mom said no because she wasn't spending that money for a Reborn. And then I just, you know, kind of like, okay, whatever. So, I just kept getting, like, dolls and stuff, whatever. So, I was like, okay, this would do. Um, and then I didn't get introduced to, introduce, then I just totally forgot about them. They, like, okay, I'm never going to get one, so I ain't worried about it no more. And so, I didn't. I didn't think about it ever again. Until a couple of years later, my daughter came across some videos, and yeah, I have been hooked on them ever since then. <laughs> I've been hooked, and um, cause my daughter she the one and she the one said something about them, and um, I'm like yeah I know about those, and so um, her dad her so called her dad so called got her one that she looked at she's like this is not a reborn, it's like oh just a regular little baby doll basically, um. And then she's like, yeah. So I ended up get I ended up buying my first kit. And I did not know about like Bounty for Baby or anything like that. So my first kit was from AliExpress, which you know, those are like knockoffs of like they just like knocking off like the real artists and stuff like that. But I did not know at the time. So I made her one. She was all happy and thrilled that that she had got um, her reborn and stuff. And she played with it for a little minute or so. And I guess she just, put, then she's like, yeah, I'm not into them anymore. And then I started playing with them. And then my crazy butt got into them. And I've been into them ever since. So... I've been in them to them every since. And yeah, and I love this hobby. My husband's still getting used to, to this whole my new hobby. 
but it relaxes me um, when I just need to be by myself and I'm stressed. I just come up here and I just like just come up here and hold a baby or play with the baby or paint on the baby. And he's starting to see that, you know, I'm content. I'm fine with Matt. Just let me be. And he's starting to get used to him, but not really. But he's starting to. I'm like, just let me be. Just, you know, just leave me alone for a second. You know, you get one of those days you just want to be left alone one of those days. Yeah, I get plenty of those. So I always get, with, you know, being a stay-at-home mom, I don't really get to leave the house much. Um, I watch my, my nieces. And, um... And then I'm like um, watching my nieces cooking and cleaning. Well, sometimes I don't cook all the time because they see that I get overwhelmed. So my husband will cook because he's like the cook of the family. So he cooks. Like we alternate sometimes. Like if he has like a long day of work, I will cook dinner. Um, if he has like a short day of work, he will cook dinner. Um, but with me watching my nieces cooking and keeping the house clean, and then now my son's doing football, and then we gotta go to order. All the way to a different county for football is just like it's well in Nashville. Like all the way to Nashville for his football practice and his football games on Saturdays. And yeah, sometimes I just need some me time. Cause you know, being a stay at home mom, everybody think, oh, that's easy. You're home all day. Staying at home mom is just not staying at home. You still have to keep your house up. You have to clean. Um, you know, you gotta make sure everybody is straight. Make sure everybody's off to school and stuff like that. My daughter. I don't have to do it as much anymore since she's in eighth grade. She has an alarm now on her phone. So she pretty much gets herself up ready and off to the bus. You know, she's 13 now. She's in eighth grade. So she is good. <laughs> um, it's just I got to make sure my son is up bad. If he didn't get to take one the night before because he's known not to do that. I don't I don't know what's up with boys. I don't, I don't get it. We'll make sure he takes his bath in the mornings and stuff and then wash his face and brush his teeth, get dressed. Um, he might eat breakfast, but he know he can eat breakfast at school. But sometimes he'll eat breakfast at home and eat breakfast at school because that boy can eat. But he's gaining like nobody's weight. But he can eat. The doctors was concerned because he has been like 40-something pounds since the age of three. He's like been in between 40s and 50s for like since the age of three. He just finally just hit 60 pounds and he is nine years old now. But he's, you know, he eats all the time. Like I'm not starving my kids. They eat all the time. All the time. He just, he have a high metabolism. He's always running, running, running. As soon as he wakes up, he is running nonstop. All day, every day, just running. That's what he does. So, yeah. And then with my kids doing stuff, whatever, my daughter, she just does band and choir. Cause, um, actually, I got to get that video from my mom and post it on here, too. Because she, on Friday, last Friday, they got to play with the high school band. Um, she did great. They did. She did, she did good. I'm so proud of her. And now she wants to do marching band next year. Because next year, she'll be, um, be a freshman I'm gonna have a freshman next year. Oh my god, she been uh, she be a freshman next year, so she's going to do marching band next year. So she's excited for that. And yeah, so yeah, I'm going to be at football games every Friday, and I believe every because they play they play the varsity games and also play at the JV games too. I think they call JVs JV games. They also play at their games. So it's going to be a lot of football. And I know nothing about football. Even my son's playing football, but I don't even know about football. Then right after, right after football, a couple of months after, we're going to be starting up his basketball season, which he's excited for because he loves basketball. We're going to be starting basketball. This would be his, his third year playing basketball. Yep, this would be his third year playing basketball. So I right, the football, we got basketball. At least with basketball, they're only practice once a week with basketball, which that is excellent. Great, but I still practice with him. When they don't got practice, we go to, like, to the, the his school that's like literally right behind us. Um, we'll walk over there and we go practice his basketball drills and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm really not hard on him with football yet because – this is his first year, and if he plays next year, I'll be, we'll be actually 
like doing drills and stuff like that. But I'm just trying to see where he's at this year and if he does play next year, which he said he wants to. Um, we're gonna be playing with a team here, we're like closer to where we live instead of like up 45 minutes away to an hour away. We're gonna be playing here, which is way closer, and it's still the same price and stuff like that. So, yes, and um. Yeah, I have a busy, busy, and I got to learn how to drive on top of that because he wants to do this next year and I got to be able to get him to practice this in the games on my own. Um, So yeah, now I got to learn how to drive, which I've been practicing. Um, I drive like a little, I drive a little, I can drive on the main roads. I, I can do pretty good, but if I'm on the back roads, I am all sorts of lost and all over the place but for some reason on the main road i'm pretty good on the main road but i've been reading the like the books and stuff i got I actually have this app on my phone that's helping me um like practicing for the test and stuff like that because in october i will be taking my learn my permit test because now it don't matter what age you are you got to have your permit for six months so yes <laughs> but i know it's crazy it's crazy but it's okay. But yeah, so I'm going to end this little chat here. Um, just chatting about life. This is what this video should be called. Chatting about life. A life chat. A life update. I don't know. We'll call it a life chat. <laughs> but yeah, so I will see you guys later. I'm going to find outfits for the other two girls. Change them too before for my nieces to wake up. And yeah, so I will see y'all guys in the next one. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll try to keep the other one short. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.